Thanks, everyone. Great singing. Blow out the birthday candles. <sighs> How old are you? How old do you think I am? Um, 26. No, you're 52. <laughs> Feels like it sometimes. I'm four years old. Ah, so that means you'll be five soon. And that reminds me of a question from Pia. Hi, my name's Pia and I'm eight years old. And I'd like to know, why do we get older? It's such a good question. What do you think? I think we get older to get your ears pierced. <laughs> <laughs> but what makes us grow up? Eating greens and being helpful. Aw, that's a nice idea. Inside our body gets older too. Go a bit mouldy? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure either. We can ask Dr Lindsay Wu from the UNSW Laboratory of Ageing Research. Hey, Lindsay. Hello. 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 Welcome to the lab. Oh, I thought it would be full of old dusty books and cobwebs and stuff. What do you mean? That's the lab of ageing research. You know, like old stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all state of the art here. There's a lot of computers and microscopes to see little stuff. That's right. We use microscopes to look at cells and other parts of the human body to try and find new ways to make people live healthier, longer lives. Oh, so could you make me live to 300? No. No. I don't think that can happen. Oh, why not? Our bodies don't let us grow for that long. It's too old to live. Then your body can't make it. Oh, that's right. Many people live right into their 80s or even their 90s. And some people can live to their 100th birthday and longer. The oldest person I've heard up to is basically maybe 102. That's a lot of birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens between when we're born and our 100th birthday? Well, it's hard to see it all. It would take a long time and a lot of stuff happens inside our bodies. So, how about we use our imaginations to get a better look? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, let's go. Perfect. I want you to imagine you're microscopically small. So small, you're practically invisible. Here we go. Whoa. Wow. This place is cool. It feels like jelly. It's all blobby. It's like a big bouncy castle. Boing, boing. We're inside a cell. It's so tiny. Cells, they um, like make stuff grow. They're little things in your body. White blood cells, red blood cells, um, hair cells. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our bodies are made of lots of cells, tiny living things. Our cells are alive? Mm-hmm. Cells are the smallest living parts of us. They use energy to power our bodies and they make up every little bit of every living thing. Even octopuses? Birds? Little flowers? Yep. Everything that is alive is made of cells. Some really tiny things, like bacteria, might only be made of one single cell. An ant might be made of 20 million cells. And a human body is made of trillions of them, all working together. How? Well, there are different kinds of cells for practically every part of you. You have skin cells and brain cells. Tongue cells and tummy cells. Feet cells and hand cells. Absolutely. And it all starts with a very special kind of cell. In fact, we're standing in one right now. This is a stem cell. A stem cell? Stem cells are a special type of cell that can turn into other cells. They are the reason we can make all of our different body parts. And they're a big part of how we grow as we get older. Whoa, something's happening! When we're babies growing inside a tummy, we start out as just a small cluster of stem cells. They don't have much shape at first, but they grow and change to become all the different cells that make up your body. All right, welcome to the Nucleus Cafe, folks. Let's see what we're cooking with. I'm reading the DNA and I'm going to need a trillion more skin cells, please. And keep them coming. Here you go. Take this to the cytoplasm. 
Okay, what's next? Uh, let's get the bladder cells together. You're gonna need that or you're in trouble. <laughs> you get it? Remind me to order some funny bone cells. <laughs> <laughs> cells are made in the body. Yeah, it sounds like they're following a recipe. When you're cooking, you need a recipe and the ingredients. Yes, that's right. The ingredients for our bodies are different kinds of cells. And the recipe for our bodies is our DNA. Cool. So DNA is the instructions on how to make the body. DNA is in all of our cells. Yep. DNA contains all the instructions on how to make you, you. What does it say? A lot of our DNA is the same as each other's because we're all basically the same, right? We all have hearts and lungs and skin and brains. We call our DNA our genetics. And how our bodies read our DNA is called our epigenetics. Ah, so when we're growing as babies, stem cells read our DNA recipes and turn into all the different kinds of cells that make our bodies. So we grow our different body parts. That's right. But we don't stay babies forever. What happens after? Once the stem cells have made all the heart and muscle and brain cells. We get older and we keep growing. That's right. But, but how? Well, let's see what happens when we wind the clock forward. By the time we're five years old, our bodies have changed a lot. I'm good at riding my bike. I can run, I can walk, I can whistle. I can um, swim really, really far. And I can play soccer and run really fast. We're nothing like the babies we used to be. And that's because our cells have changed too. Do bigger bodies mean you need bigger cells? Because this cell hasn't changed size. It's not our cells getting bigger that makes us grow. It's our bodies making more of them. With more stem cells? Kids do still have stem cells that their bodies use to grow. But most of your cells have the power to make copies of themselves. Your skin? It's great at making more skin cells. When we have a cut or a scrape, it will heal. Then the new skin would grow. Yep even down to the cells that make your bones. They can make lots more of themselves too. So when it's time to grow... Me again! We're not done cooking. Oh, we're going to need more than a sprinkle of height this year for monthly basketball. Let's get a rush order on those extra leg muscle cells. And where are my extra tendon cells? What's going to hold all this together? It's not tape and glue, I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> the body's growing! Your body can make itself bigger and stronger by reading your DNA to make more cells where you need them and using the energy you get from a healthy diet and plenty of exercise. Ah, oh, so as we get older, that means our cells are making more of themselves to create our bigger, stronger bodies. Yeah, and you turn to a grown-up, then bigger. That's right. But when does it stop? Yeah. What do you mean? If we never stop growing, we would be as tall as the clouds. Up, up to the sky. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We don't keep growing, but we do keep getting older. What do you think the difference is? Growing is where you get taller, and getting older is where you change numbers of how old you are. To a teenager, and then to an adult, and a really old person. Let's push this body clock forward again and see. I'm 17 years old. And I'm 18. I definitely noticed I was growing taller. My voice was getting a little bit deeper. A collective change where everyone started to stink at the same time. And it was quite eye and nose opening for me. A lot happens in our bodies during our teen years. Do teenagers smell? It's a pretty special time between being a kid and an adult. We can skip ahead for now. You'll find out more about those teen years later. For much of our lives, from when we're babies right through to when we're young adults, our bodies are growing. Our different cells make more of themselves and we still use stem cells to make even more new stuff as our bodies need it. Every year our bodies get older, but we do eventually stop growing. Then we're grown-ups. Yeah, I, I don't think I've been growing for a while now. I'm not getting taller or growing any new teeth. 
but my body is still changing. That's right. Our bodies do keep changing right through our whole lives. Is our DNA changing? No, our DNA basically stays the same, but it's the way our body reads the DNA that starts to change. That doesn't sound good. What happens if my body reads the DNA recipe wrong and I grow a toe on my nose? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, for the most part, our bodies read the DNA more or less correctly. You're not going to grow a third arm, even though that would be kind of cool. But everything does slow down as we get older. After a while, our bodies don't make new cells as quickly. And some of the messages can get lost or misunderstood. Skin cells, can you hear me? Fuck, you've been late on your last two million orders. Can we pick things up? Hair cells, I know you're out of bright colours, but do what you can. Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> Is that bad? It's just what happens as we get older. I'm 82 years old. I'm 87. And I'm 88 and 10 months. Getting slower a little. Uh, very slow. <laughs> but apart from that, I think it's great. I'm enjoying myself. I don't run anywhere anymore. <laughs> Couldn't run very much as a child either, but never mind, I can, I'm running less. My skin is much more papery, especially on my arms and hands. Yes, my, my hair changed all right. It's uh, quite a funny silvery colour now. <laughs> yeah, my hair's getting a little grey too. It's just a normal part of ageing. Our skin gets wrinkly because we don't make as many new skin cells as we did when we were younger, and our hair turns grey because our hair cells don't make the colours they used to. We often get smaller in old age too because we stop making as many muscle cells. Ah, oh, thanks for coming to the Nucleus Cafe. I think we made something really special here. Brain cells, I'm looking at you. Thanks for sticking with us for the long haul. Liver cells, you never quit. Time for a rest, hey? And then, do our bodies just... stop? Well, a human body just isn't built to live forever. Parts of our bodies will stay with us from the moment we're born until the day we die. Some cells in our brains and eyes live as long as we do. Other parts of us grow and die very quickly, like hair and skin. Our bodies are different ages all over. Yep. So when we die, does that mean our cells have stopped working? Yes, our cells eventually stop using their energy to power our bodies. But the stuff they're made of doesn't go away. It just changes and eventually become part of the Earth again. Whoa. So all the tiny parts that make up the cells, they don't go away. They get to be new stuff. They turn into soil, can into flowers, or a big tree. And then I think it goes somewhere else, like on top of a rainbow. They might come back as a carrot like my nano. And even though we die, parts of us do live on forever. Those instructions to make our bodies, our DNA, they live on through our children, through you kids. Lindsay, thank you so much for showing us how we get older. It's been an amazing journey, following the incredible lives of ourselves. My pleasure. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. So, Pia, we start to get older from the moment our first stem cells begin to create new cells. Skin cells, muscle cells, brain cells. These cells grow more and more and more of themselves until they form all of our different body parts. Our brains and hearts and muscles and everything. Each of our cells carries our DNA. It's our genetics. It's the instructions how to make your body. Everyone has their DNA recipe. And how our bodies read that recipe is called our epigenetics. It makes messages from the DNA. Can I get a million more skin cells and keep those freckles coming? As we grow, our bodies read our DNA and send lots of messages to make more and more parts of our bodies as we need them. More teeth. Bigger muscles to run fast and bitter bones to grow tall. This keeps happening for years and years, and our bodies keep growing. 
Until eventually... We grow up. All of that growing slows right down. Our bodies keep reading our DNA, but as our cells get older, those messages take longer to send, or there might be a few mistakes in them, and that can make us look different. Yes, well, my hair changed all right. It was quite, quite dark before. <laughs> Eventually, our cells stop being able to make and power our bodies, and we die. We don't know what happens after that, but all the stuff that makes up every single one of the trillions of cells in our bodies gets to become something new. <laughs>